spoken echoes linger here. Words of Queen Marika, who vanished long ago. If you wish, I will share them with you. Very well. In Marika's own words, my lord and thy warriors, I divest each of thee of thy grace. With thine eyes dimmed, ye will be driven from the lands between. Ye will wage war in a land afar, where ye will live and die. Well, perhaps that might serve you in lieu of a maiden's guidance. Shall I turn your runes to strength? Let my hand rest upon you. For but a moment, share them with Divinity have mercy and grant me forgiveness. The road is yet long, a god is not easily felled. But one day without fail you will have your wish. So please grant me forgiveness, Queen Marika. Greetings. Are you here for spirit tuning? <laughs> You, is it? I didn't notice you there. I'll be doing my job, same as ever. Just lay out your arms. Those words were not meant for you. I may be prisoner to you, tarnished lot, but my prayers are mine, and mine alone. Well, I've had my say. I'll be more careful, too. seen you here before. I am Nefeli Lu, warrior, here by decree of my father. The pleasure's mine, as a fellow tarnished, guided by grace to the round table hold. Ah, yes. I wonder if you've met my foster father. He's in his study. The room enters guarding just over there. If you haven't already, I advise you introduce yourself. Father is leader of the round table. I'm sure talking to him will be worth your while. It's about time I headed off. I'll see you again, warrior, should the fates deign it. It's about time I headed off. I'll see you again. You've received the wisdom of the two fingers, have you not? Then, just as promised, I bid you welcome. As a true member of the Round Table, I am known as Gideon Ofnir, as a tarnished who wishes to stand before the Elden Ring and become Elden Lord. I am accumulating knowledge, to be all-knowing. You now belong to a select group of fellows. As such, I ask that you remain constant. You'll be after more great runes now, eh? Then as your fellow, allow me to divulge a little knowledge. The inheritors of the great runes, the shard bearers. We of the round table know the location of five of them, including the one you defeated. Godric the Grafted, Lord of Stormvale. General Radan, who fought Melania and her rot to a standstill in the Caled Wilds. Praetor Rykard, Lord of the Volcano Manor of Mount Gelmir. Morgoth, the Grace Given. Veiled Monarch and Lord of Lane Dell, and Renala, Queen of the Full Moon, ruler of Rhea Lucaria's Academy. You'll still be after more great runes, won't you? So, Godric the Grafted, Lord of Stormvale, despite being the blood of Godfrey, first Elden Lord, is a grotesque old fool grasping for power. His castle lies upon the cliff to Limgrave's northwest, but I suspect you know that well enough already. 
So, despite being the blood, his castle lies, but I suspect you know. General Radan, the famed Red Lion and Scourge of the Stars, is a ferocious warrior. He fought Melania and her rot to a standstill in the Caelid Wilds to Limgrave's east. And now Caelid has been engulfed by the Scarlet Rot. Even approaching the region is no mean feat. I've heard survivors of Radan's army are still in the wilds, staving off the rot with fire. And if it's true, I suspect Radan is still there as well, in Caelid. Though, I doubt he much resembles his former self anymore. Praetor Rikard is the lord of the Volcano Manor on Mount Gelmir. He is a ruthless justicia who commands a company of inquisitors, reviled for his serpentine demeanor. The volcano, Mount Gelmir, lies in the west of the Altus Plateau, the realm of the Erd Tree. It was the stage of the most appalling battle in the entirety of the Shattering. Rikard has committed the grave sin of blasphemy, marking himself as an enemy never to be forgiven. Morgoth the Grace given is Lord of Landel, the capital city. It lies at the foot of the Erd Tree, in the east of the Altus Plateau. But the Two Fingers forbid us from venturing there, until we've acquired enough great runes to repair the Elden Ring. Set your sights elsewhere for the time being. The Veiled Monarch can wait. The Academy of Rhea Lucaria lies to Limgrave's north towering over the mist-laden lands of Lyernia. Renala is queen of the Carian royals, who govern the academy. But Renala herself is no demigod. Her beloved Radagon left her to become Queen Marika's second husband, taking the title of King Consort. The great rune dwells within the amber egg that was Radagon's gift to her. I understand you've been speaking to Nepheli. She's my daughter. I took her in when she lost the guidance of grace. Though a mere axe-wielding barbarian, her youthful credulity suited my purposes. So I put her to work. Do not hesitate to employ her. Should her services benefit you? Despite her looks, she is more than capable in the press of battle. <laughs>